Finland is one of the leading countries in sustainable forest management. This has been the case for decades, as Finland's economy and societal priorities are closely tied to its forest resources. Finland's approach to responsible, sustainable forest management combines three objectives. Firstly, natural processes in forest regeneration must be respected and maintained. The forest's bounty can only be used to the extent that nature can replace what humans have taken. Secondly, the social and cultural values of forests must not be weakened. In Finland, people are keenly aware of how the forest fits into their society's cultural values and needs. To maintain these values, destruction of forests is expressly prohibited by law. And thirdly, while protecting these values, forest management must be profitable and beneficial to all partners involved. The government encourages better practices by private owners of forest lands by means of financial support and technical guidance. The majority of the forests in Finland are owned by private persons. Forest incomes and benefits play a remarkable role in their private economies. With these core principles as a foundation, Finland is sharing its forest management wisdom and experience with fellow nations through a variety of cooperative programs. Vietnam is a good example. The Finnish government is working together with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization to provide Vietnam with funding and expertise for the development of better forest management. A key part of this is establishing a modern and accurate means of assessing the state of Vietnam's forest resources. In March 2011, these partners launched Vietnam's National Forest Assessment Program or NFA. The project's aim is to improve the National Forest Inventory System of Vietnam to satisfy the growing information needs of the domestic and international communities. Currently, those efforts include reaching out to all parties involved in forestry management nationwide to train them through the whole NFA process. It will include field measurements, data collection, data validation, calculation and analysis, and finally dissemination of the final results. The application of new methods, technologies and tools can greatly improve the efficiency and increase accuracy of forest assessments. Tämän projektin tarkoituksena on kehittää olemassa olevaa systeemiä, sen tilastollista luotettavuutta, otanan tehokkuutta, esitellä uusia työkaluja, parempaa teknologiaa, mikä on merkittävästi kehittynyt viimeisen 30 vuoden aikana. Eli kysymyksessä on tavallaan facelift, kasvojen kohotus olemassa olevalle inventointisysteemille, jotta se kykenee vastaamaan paremmin sekä kasvaviin kansallisiin tarpeisiin että myöskin kansainvälisiin tarpeisiin. As part of the NFA project, FAO and Finnish experts are working closely with Vietnam's Forest Inventory and Planning Institute under the supervision of the Vietnam Administration of Forestry and the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. Trong cái xu hướng hiện đại, chúng ta uh, hiện tại chúng ta cần những cái thông tin chính xác hơn về tài nguyên rừng, bao gồm cả tài nguyên về đa dạng sinh học, bao gồm các giá trị về môi trường cũng như khả năng hấp thu carbon. Đồng thời chúng ta cần những cái thông tin cần thiết liên quan đến kinh tế xã hội, các yếu tố về quản trị rừng để nhằm cung cấp một cách thông tin đầy đủ, chính xác hơn cho cho nhà hoạch định chính sách và đưa ra những chính sách kịp thời trong hướng tới quản lý rừng bền vững. Transparent land tenure and forestry related decision making are the basis for sustainable forest management. Without legal access to land, no individual is willing to invest in forestry. Land use and forest rights certificates are currently being reviewed and distributed to households and individuals, but the process is slow. 
The NFA initiative involves project workers using the most up-to-date methods to measure trees, their growth rates and the location of forested areas. As a result, the data has become more accurate and is gathered more quickly and efficiently. The difference of the technology will bring the, the higher accuracy. In fact, in the remote sensing, I would say that the more time, the more human resource we work in the field, the more accuracy we get. While these efforts are carefully targeted, and the project itself is well underway, other challenges still lie ahead. Today in Vietnam, the degradation of the quality of natural forests and the low quality and productivity of plantation forests are generally acknowledged facts. The improved national forest assessment, in addition to the traditional means of measuring forests, will also increase the focus on timber quality, biodiversity and carbon measurements. Vietnam is really a very interesting case for us in forestry because it's one of the few developing countries of the world that's actually increased its forest area in the last few years. So, uh, of course, there's lots of things that we can improve always in any, any country's forestry programs. But uh, Vietnam is in many ways a success story uh, that we like to look toward. Furthermore, changing weather patterns are adding new challenges to the task of forecasting how forest coverage will react to different rainfall and temperature conditions throughout the year. These changes can affect growth rates, as well as where various tree species will thrive. Excessive rainfall and desertification are causing or may be leading to problems in some areas. And as populations and economies expand, it is essential to continue getting the message out to businesses and government leaders as well as the general public that the careful use of land is crucial to the sustainable management of our planet and its forest resources. The Finnish government and the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization are working to develop and disseminate a series of tools and methodologies elaborated by their experts that are aimed at helping member nations to choose and profit from sustainable forestry. Like Vietnam, even more nations around the world are realizing the positive contribution that a vibrant and sustainable forestry industry can make more and better jobs, lower environmental impact, a carbon neutral industry, and a renewable, sustainable approach to economic development.